Attacking this bear was a big mistake. Even the numerical advantage of these wolves did not help them. He saved strength. To counterattack, the bear just needs to turn around to the enemy. And the wolves have to circle and dodge the crushing blows of the bear. But sooner or later, the giant would run out of strength, so he breaks into the forest. The bear uses trees as shelters, which do not allow wolves to surround him. The pack has to retreat. We will show other cases when the animals gave an impressive free buff to the enemies despite the circumstances. The leopard caught the young ungulate and dragged the prey up a tree. The problem is that in doing so, he caught the eye of a lion. A huge and powerful predator considers this territory its own and is against any neighborhood, not only with other lions, but also with any predators in general. The lion wants to take away a newly hard-earned lunch from a spotted distant relative, so he rushes to him and climbs a tree after the leopard. After all, both species are feline, they are nimble, and have retracted claws that retain their sharpness. Thanks to this, the lion is really good at climbing trees. Not as elegant as a leopard, but you've got to admit, not bad. He thinks that he can not only take away the prey from the opponent, but also deal with him himself, because he has three times more weight and superiority and strength. But the lion underestimated the enemy. The leopard is not going to fight with the lion, he just climbs higher. Moreover, the spotted cat climbs up not from the very beginning, but when the lion has almost grabbed its prey at the very last moment. This is not an accident. The leopard lures the lion higher because a large mass also means that the lion will not be able to climb the thinnest branches of the tree. And the leopard could. Besides, his strength should not be underestimated either. He easily dragged his prey to the site. The lion is shocked, but cannot reach the victim. In addition, he got carried away. He climbed high, and it is already more difficult for him to get off without the agility of a leopard. Have you ever been at a high altitude? The longer you stay up there, the scarier it gets. The lion was able to climb down from the tree without any serious damage, but he remained hungry. The leopard saved his prey and taught the enemy a lesson. Horses can be very aggressive. In the wild, stallions often fight for leadership in the herd and do not hesitate to use dangerous techniques against the opponent. They strike so hard with their hooves that they can break through a thin wall. And a horse bite can cause terrible pain because their teeth are ground and not cut off plants. That's why the pressure of their jaws is so strong. Getting into such a vice is a bad prospect. This stallion is well aware of his capabilities and wants to show the camel that he is in charge here. But the camel has other plans. This animal seems phlegmatic, clumsy, and meek against the background of a fast and impetuous stallion. But this is not the case. In fact, the camel just does not like to fuss. In reality, his strength corresponds to his huge size. He shows the horse who's in charge here. But pay attention, the camel really behaves surprisingly peacefully. He not only gives the stallion an impressive rebuff, but also immobilizes him so that he cools down a little bit. To do this, the camel knocks down the opponent and just lies on top of him. Due to the superiority in mass, this is enough to keep an angry stallion on the ground. In addition, the camel managed to immobilize the opponent in such a way that the horse could not reach either with its teeth or hooves. Look at the calm expression on the camel's face into the angry stallion. The humpback herbivore seems to be saying, why are you starting? Lie down, calm down, then we'll discuss everything. For the proud stallion, a more insulting defeat, because the opponent did not even have to use dangerous techniques and only the mass was enough to win. But the aggressor understood the lesson, calmed down, after which the camel really immediately let him go. The nobility of a camel is worthy of your life, wouldn't you say? Foxes are smart and cunning predators who like to live in burrows, but do not like to dig them. This young couple decided to get a new family nest in the most typical way for foxes. 
to take it away from the previous owner who dug the hole. Except the foxes didn't run into some kind of a rodent, but a badger. It's a bad idea to mess with them, and now the foxes will understand why. At first, the red robber rushes at the enemy with a boldness that would command respect from his larger relative, the wolf. But then the fox realized that he had made a mistake. The badger gave an impressive rebuff. After all, he is a relative of the honey badger and the wolverine. And although in normal circumstances badgers do not show aggression and can even cooperate with foxes, these squat and stocky animals will react quite coolly to an attempt to take away their home from them. The badger's hide is very durable, and although its compact body is much smaller than that of a nimble fox, the squat silhouette gives its advantages. It is easier for the badger to counterattack. He responds to attempts to grab at the throat with painful and unpleasant bites right in the fox's face, and the redhead won't let up. Having been punched in the face, he still returns for another portion of punches. And apparently, he does not want to embarrass himself in front of his female. He can be understood, but the badger has amazing stamina and knocks the fox out of its hole. Only when the female and male join forces, they manage to expel the badger. But still, this little baby not only survives after a battle with two larger predators, but also remains intact. You cannot say that about the foxes. Perhaps the badger gave them a hole out of pity so that they could lick their wounds there. Usually only male lions fight for leadership in the pride. The leader protects his status, territory, and cubs, and the intruder tries to displace and expel him, well, or bite his throat. But there was no duel here. The young lion got involved with the wrong pride. Instead of going out to a one-on-one -on -one duel, everyone attacked the intruder. Both males and females attacked the alien. He is in shock and managed to receive several heavy blows to the muzzle from both lionesses and lions. We must pay tribute to him. A young, aggressive, and strong lion managed to fend off several predators and even stood up to them. But of course, there is no chance of winning. The battle looks impressive. Blows flash by. A roar is heard for miles. Claws and fangs keep getting to the target, but so far without any fatal consequences. The stranger learned a painful lesson and went on the run, and the pride is chasing him. He did not expect such a reception, but now he will definitely remember this place and will never return here again. The defense proved to be very effective. Why do you think, in other cases, lionesses do not come out with male lions to protect the pride altogether? Let us know in the comments. Any kind of hyena is dangerous with its strong paws, but the striped one is probably the coolest. Her jaws are especially strong, and her size allows her to compete on equal terms one-on-one -on -one with leopards and young lionesses. This hyena noticed an armadillo that was looking for something tasty. The predator lunged forward. She is confident in her abilities. The victim is still young, and if she manages to curl up into a ball, the hyena's powerful fangs will open her armor. And if he doesn't make it, so much the better. But the battleship, instead of going into a blind defense, broke into a run and tried to distreat. The hyena was already celebrating victory at that moment because the battleship would not ever be able to break away from such a pursuer. But the predator did not realize that the armadillo was not running in a panic in a random direction at all. He has a plan. Suddenly he stops and does a somersault. The hyena does not understand what is happening. Does the armadillo twist into a ball on the run? She jumps on the prey and raises a whole cloud of dust. And when it settles, the hyena is alone. Has the armadillo disappeared? Is he a magician? Or a ninja who can disappear in a cloud of smoke? Well, the animal has a lot of tricks. His hole turned out to be here. From the side, it is almost impossible to notice it. No mounds or bumps, just a little hole in the ground designed exactly to fit the dimensions of the battleship. The large hyena has no chance to get in there, and the hyena will not be able to dig it out with its thin paws. It was not necessary to underestimate this opponent. 
Chimpanzees only seem like cute little monkeys. In fact, they are cruel scumbags who often harm other creatures for no reason. And here, a really gang of chimpanzees found a raccoon in their enclosure, which was just exploring the neighborhood. The kid quickly realized that getting to know large relative to himself and completely inadequate primates would not bring him anything good. So he tried to hide in the thicket. The chimpanzees tried to catch an interesting creature for them. What happened next leaves more questions than answers. The raccoon literally flew out of the bushes and in flight did a triple somersault with its limbs stretched out in different directions. How did he do this acrobatic trick? Was he performing in a circus or did he grab onto something with his front paws when the primates were pulling on his hind legs and then let go? How do you think the little beast did such a trick like this? Pay attention, he not only survived and survived, but was also able to quickly cope with the dizziness and tried to hide in the pipe. Unfortunately, the cruel chimpanzees caught him by the tail and did not let him escape, but they didn't know who they were dealing with. The little raccoon got out by himself and forced himself to let go with a painful bite. It remains to be hoped that he will be able to get out of this mess. Would you have intervened if you had witnessed the scene at the zoo? Reply in the comments. Pinnipeds are cute creatures, but they are remembered not only because of memes. This sea lion is clearly against kayakers swimming in his favorite lagoon. It can be understood. A lot of noise, perhaps even garbage, and in general a whole crowd of athletes does not really contribute to a measured rhythm of life. And the pinniped showed its discontent brutally, unequivocally, and very much in the spirit of neighborhood conflicts. The sea lion just swam up to one of the kayakers and contemptuously threw an octopus right in the face. This insult stunned the man. Pinnipeds, of course, do not cause any harm to humans, but the kayaker clearly did not expect this sort of development. Maybe the animal is on the contrary, shows sympathy, and shares some lunch. What do you think? Share your opinion in the comments. In any case, no matter how funny seals and sea lions are, they should not be underestimated. This dog tested the patience of the pinniped for a long time. He barked and came closer and closer. There doesn't seem to be any serious threat, but this is pretty infuriating, isn't it? So the sea lion was enraged. His reaction was lightning fast. He just grabbed the dog with his jaws and threw him back 10 feet. Moreover, the dog immediately jumped to his feet. It did not receive any serious injuries or injuries. It was clearly grabbed quite neatly and was rather stunned by fights than hit the ground. But she will have to learn a lesson. Otherwise, she will fly into the sea next time. By the way, if you would like some more funny stories, then write about it in the comments underneath this video. Although digging is an exhausting activity, for many animals it is a really good way to avoid unnecessary predator attention. Therefore, warthogs often arrange their lairs in burrows. Although it is inconvenient to dig with their hooves, their fangs are perfect for loosening the earth. But this warthog underestimated the termination of the leopard that found its hidden burrow. The spotted predator was already a little tired. To get to the victim, he had to greatly expand the entrance and dig much more than the warthog itself. For not the most hardy cat, this is a real test. But leopards should not be underestimated. He managed to get to the very bottom of the hole and dig out a large boar, taking it right by the throat. In a narrow passage, it was not difficult for the cat to grab the opponent by the vulnerable spot. The warthog did not take this into account. If he had been the first to run out of the hole, or at least protect his throat, he would have had a chance, because the leopard was tired. And so, a well-aimed blow to a vulnerable point brought victory to the patient cat. And there are cases when even the most sworn enemies unite for the sake of a common goal. This lioness didn't have the easiest day. She managed to find the warthog's lair, but it turned out to be a hole that still needs to be dug. 
Actually, lion paws are good for this. Wide pillows, powerful muscles. But still, digging is not what these predatory cats are good at. The lioness has to put a lot of effort into this. But the main thing is that cats are not the most hardy and patient predators by nature. They can produce impressive results, but at short distances. Chasing prey for a long time, digging, running, fighting, it's more about wolves, not about lions. Therefore, when an adult and large warthog rebuffed the lioness, she was already tired. We must pay tribute to her. The predatory cat was able to overwhelm the victim and grab her by the throat with its fangs. Except she didn't bite the vessels on the prey's neck, but squeezed the trachea. The lioness also needs stamina to strangle. My strength is running out. The victim is strong and desperately resists. And then the hyena appears. A more stupid and inexperienced predator in her place would have tried to attack an opponent in order to take away his prey. Such cases have happened more than once. A hyena attacks, for example, a leopard while it has already caught and strangles an unfinished prey. The hyena's attack fails. The leopard avoids meeting its fangs. But the hyena does not have time to grab the opponent's prey either. The unfinished victim is only glad of such competition and takes his chance. She jumps up and often successfully escapes from both predators. And the leopard jumps back and dodges the blow. And the victim breaks three, bounces off the hyena, and escapes from the predators. As a result, all predators remain hungry. It seems that this hyena is an experienced robber and has already been in such situations. She understands that it is better to take a chance and share lunch with the enemy than to leave everyone without food. Therefore, the hyena does something that neither the lioness nor the warthog expected from her. The hyena helps her sworn enemy. When the warthog is about to break free from the lioness's grip, the hyena attacks it with its powerful jaws. As a result, predators of not only different but also hostile species collectively overwhelmed and finished off the boar. Surprisingly, the lioness showed reciprocal nobility and did not drive away the hyena or even establish a feeding order. The two of them dine on the loop together. It is unlikely that this truce will go beyond one episode, but the case itself is pretty rare. It is necessary to recognize the courage of this buffalo. His attack on the rhino is really impressive. Because only a desperately brave creature can attack someone with such an advantage in strength. Externally, it may seem that the difference between these animals is insignificant, but that's not the case. The bull reaches a mass of about a ton. That's a lot, except the rhinoceros is three times heavier. He also has an almost impenetrable armored hide in specific combat tactics. The bull was clearly mistaken in his assessment of the enemy's forces. In fact, the rhinoceros is betting on one crown blow, but the beast has mastered it perfectly. This is a dangerous blow from the bottom up with a curved, long, and sharp horn which threatens to pierce the belly of the bull and get to its internal organs. The bull clearly did not understand who he was messing with. For a while, he's holding up well, trying to push the enemy at the expense of experience and the ability to keep a foothold. But the rhinoceros still sweeps away the opponent with a crushing battering ram and then drags him along the ground and at the same time delivers terrible blows to the bull. The bull survived, but he remains disappointed to plow the ground with his horns. An adult wildebeest and zebras know that when crossing a body of water, the main danger is crocodiles. These huge reptiles hide perfectly in muddy water, and thanks to the suitable color of their durable scales, they become almost invisible. Therefore, a sudden attack from under the water often takes ungulates by surprise. To prevent this, here a small herd literally runs across the river and looks straight ahead in order to react in time to the appearance of the reptile, jump over it, and then also even trample it. But the danger lurked where it was not expected. The ungulates had no idea that they would encounter not a predatory reptile here, but a leopard. Moreover, he hid under the slope of the shore, and thanks to the concentration of the ungulates of the water, remained completely unnoticed. For him, such a fast run of ungulates past was a real gift. You could watch them and choose your prey to your liking. 
The leopard did just that. It rushed at the family of zebras from behind and attacked a young individual. The predator acted so abruptly and quickly that the mother simply did not have time to react, and the leopard grabbed the young zebra and immediately rushed back. He accurately grabbed the prey by the throat under the jaws, in the most vulnerable place, used inertia overload, and broke the trachea with one blow. It usually takes a leopard a couple of minutes to strangle its prey, but these ungulates did not know who they were messing with. Thanks to the experience and expertly executed technique, the predator overpowered the victim in a matter of seconds. Rams have a bad habit, actually. They like to butt heads not only with other rams and equal rivals, but also with any other animals in general, including with their neighbors on the farm. Rams even attack much larger and more massive cows. When a ram attacks a pig or dogs, it's unpleasant, but sooner or later, any gangster meets an even cooler aggressor. It turned out that way here, provoking this stallion was a fatal mistake of the ram. The horse did not play wrestling, ram the opponent, or kick. The stallion immediately used the most destructive weapon in his arsenal, his teeth. He took advantage of the height advantage and was able to grab the ram across the back with his jaws, accurately hitting the bite right on the spine. And the consequences were devastating. The strength of the jaws turned out to be so huge that the stallion literally broke the ram's spine in a couple of seconds. After that, the enraged horse lifted the ram above itself and began to shake it from side to side. The person who witnessed this scene would be glad to help the loser. But at this stage, it is wiser to wait for the horse to just calm down. Which of today's cases when the animal received a powerful rebuff struck you the most? Share your opinion below in the comment section below this video. And don't forget to subscribe, then we'll see each other more often.